All right, hello, and welcome back to Hydrophobia Prophecy. We are uh, doing good so far. We got past the really frustrating bit about a little bit ago, so uh, so far it's been pretty smooth and really straightforward. We just had a few water puzzles, but I think we're uh, I think we're getting pretty close to near the end. Even a Oh, look, it's Sarah. Destroy Sarah. Oh, shoot. Okay, shoot an energy round into Sarah's ventilation ducts when they open. So, energy. Energy. Oh, it moves. You're just the gate. Um, oh, that hurt. Hello and welcome back to the boss fight. This is attempt number seven. I had previously thought that the plaza was the most annoying part of this game. I was wrong. The boss fight is. Um, if only because it's, well, it's the gun game plays bad and it relies heavily on it. Uh, not to mention the physics for the water thing is a bit obtuse. It's not really clear as to how you're supposed to do that. Because it's, uh... Yeah. No, I, I I don't know what's up with that. Sometimes that registers as a hit when you get it, like, right on the front of it, but not all the time. And... Oh. Okay, explosive charges. She saw us. She's going to use her big gun. And now we can do this. Come on. There we go. Okay, so that counted as an explosion. Uh, really quickly, we gotta switch over to the gel. If only because that is the easiest way to take something out really quickly. Okay, you can see us now. In fact, we're good, so let's go back to the energy. Hey there. Alright, let's go get some of that water. Alright. Alright, I think that's two down. If this follows ye olde design guide for games, we have to do it three times. Alright. Let's turn that off. Oh, that's gonna hit me. <laughs> I just shot myself. That's awesome. Um, let's see. Yeah, semi-auto. If I get a headshot, the semi-auto is at least a little bit useful. The uh, rapid fire is totally useless. Alright, so those guys are gone. Um, I still got at least two guys over on the other side. However, there's a good chance that the robot might take care of them. Oh. Or not. Okay, those guys are dead. Go ahead and switch over to the energy rounds. Oh shit 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 shit.
There we go, that's three. Oh, yep, three times. Goodbye, robot. I hate you. Well, that's a one way to kill your enemy. Is that it? It's a fantastic white screen, though I think I'm getting ready to die. I think I did it. I think we beat it. I gotta tell you, um, overall I did enjoy the game. There were some immensely frustrating bits to it. Complete the game without failing a hack. <laughs> awesome. Um, oh, there were some interesting elements, but there were some really incredibly frustrating elements, and you can tell that for what the game it was, that it was, uh, it did not have some attention put to areas that it should have, including a lot of playability areas. Especially when it came to uh, the plaza and that last fight. It was not totally, totally fun. Um, but overall, the game, I'm happy with it, especially considering what it cost me. And we got a slew of medals. Alright, and let's continue. And there we go. Dark Energy Digital. You had a somewhat fun game. Unfortunately for you, it was not enough to keep you in business. They uh, went under about, I think, a year after the game came out, just because of apparently not selling enough. Um, overall, though, I, like I said, I, I, I enjoyed the game. I think it's fun. If you have it, I would say play it. I'm not sure if I'd tell you to buy it if you don't have it. Um, it was a very short game. I mean, this was broken up into 15-minute episodes, but still, this is, it was a very short game. It was, you can tell that when it was released, you can tell that the game itself is about four Four years old? Four years old. Maybe five years old now if you consider the original release. Um, overall, though, it's, uh, the water physics were interesting. I wish they would have put a little bit more into the uh, little water nanite thingies a little bit uh, earlier in the game. They basically gave you the ability to do that right at the end, so you don't really have a lot of time to familiarize yourself with it, and that was a bit of a uh, downside. Overall, though, I... I'd give the game a solid B-. Anyway, I want to go ahead and thank you for watching this uh, final episode of Hydrophobia Prophecy, and I will see you next time with a new game, maybe. Until then, have a good night, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a message in the uh, section below, and uh, have a good day. And I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and just leave the credits play. Try